Hi, my name is Amber Chia and I'm the principal of Amber Chia Academy. And I'm great to be here to shooting Celeb Discovery, Be Courageous. About nine years ago, when I won the title, I become uh, the celebrity model in Malaysia. A lot of young girls and young boys always come to me and ask me if they want to start their modern career, how can they start? So that made me to think that, you know, that could be an opportunity for me to start this business. First thing, of course, is a business. Second, it's to help those people who always have a dreams like me when I was younger, want to be a model. So I opened Amber Chai in 2010 after I came back from New York. And I have been in the, the industry for 10 years. I think it's the right time for me to start the modeling, uh, modeling academy to help the young generations, to help those people who just like me when I was 17 years old, have the dreams, want to be a Modern, yeah. Uh, modern actually they have uh, different uh, different type of modern. So a lot of people think about modern. It's about tall beauty. Yes, that it's one type, which is that the runway type. You have to have a height requirement for female. They have to be one seven five centimeter above. For male, they have to be one eight two centimeter above. In international, in Malaysia, one seven zero for female and one seven eight for male centimeter. So it's uh, higher than the average height in Malaysian for Malaysians. So um, that is catwalk model, but and you have to be skinny, have a slim body, and for male you have to be fit. And for commercial model, it's a different part of modeling. You don't need to be tall. You just need to know how to act in front of the camera and also in front of the photo. And you have, you just need to know how to deliver the story. Of course, you know if you are good looking, that is the act point thing. But when I talk about commercial model, they not only have model, they have different talent as well. They have kids, they have uh, grandmother, they have mother, they have father. They have different different kind of role and different kind of scene. So the height is not important. The more important thing you have to be, you know, good in acting. Yeah. Wow, it's very different when I step from a modern world, entertainment industry world to entrepreneurship and uh, it's something new for me and I, I do like it now though because it's a new challenge and uh, it's something very different and maybe I'm doing what I like to do as well. I'm not only running the business, I teach as well. That's why, you know, that is what is my passion. I learned a lot of um, new stuff and new things in the entrepreneurship. And from uh, beginning, from zero to now, which is that as a boss, you have to know everything. You have to know a little bit of sales marketing, a little bit of admin, a little bit of operations, a little bit of uh, idea, new course teaching, you have to know everything. So eventually, I learned a bit here and there from my colleague and I'm glad that, you know, entrepreneurship taught me a lot of stuff and I'm still learning. Well, the achievement I felt the best for Amber Chai Academy is uh, even though we only about eight to nine years old, we have about 300, two to 300 winners. That's why um, the hashtag of Amber Chai Academy is Academy of Winners because we have many winners, almost 300 winners, and our students are all doing very well in all industry. Not only in the modern industry, we have lots of beauty queens as well from Amber Chai. Academy, men Han, uh, models of course, male model, female model, kids model and also we have uh, makeup courses as well, we have a lot of makeup students are doing pretty well, nail art, hair, so we have uh, people from different industry, different career are uh, winning awards and doing well, so that is what I felt the achieve the, the biggest achievement of Amber Chai Academy and also to achieve someone's goal that is something I really like to do. The strength of Malaysia model a lot. First thing of course is our languages. We can speak at least three to four languages. So when we travel, we English is international language definitely will help you in Europe and also a US place. When you travel to China, Chinese is no problem for Chinese as well. Even in Hong Kong, Cantonese and uh, we are multi and Indonesia as well. So we are multi-racial and multi-cultures 
multi-languages. <laughs> so language did help us a lot. So that's why I got quite numbers of uh, campaign and also commercial in uh, Milan and also New York because we are different. We have, we have unique faces, yeah. Uh, most of the parents, when they send their kids to Amber Child Academy, the key thing is not about you know their career. The main thing is to build their confidence. Um, and a kid, when they can stand in front of a 500 or 1,000 audience to do a runway posing catwalk, that have to be a certain level of confidence. Because if you put someone who haven't reached the confidence level, they will cry. And I see a lot of transform from Amber Child Academy kids modeling. Some of them, it could be very shy. They don't even talk to anyone and the end you know the parents can't even believe they changed and uh, not only on the runway in the personality of them as well they become more social more PR because we teach about teamwork we teach about uh, and our class is very fun because for kids you know we, we make it like very fun like praying and uh, the kids always wanted to look like someone and they will challenge it eventually they change their personality and they become better and most of the parents they thanks for us because they say that I can't believe my my daughter or my sons can transform so much they look so different and they can't even believe they can rock the runway and post so much in front of the camera and the second part of course their career because that is what they like to do and the third thing of course you know if they can do it well that eventually they'll help them uh, to step into the entertainment industry easily Obviously, I'm from Strict Smart because I start work when I was 17 until now. But on between, of course, you know, I'm trying to, you know, learn something new. Example, English is something uh, I didn't know when I moved to KL and Cantonese. So I pick up those languages and um, I hire a private teacher to come to my house to teach me. So um, never too late to learn. And um, I think, you know, when you pass me a book, I can easily fall into sleep. <laughs> but when you give me something creative, I can sit there for more than 12 hours to complete and finish it. So, very obviously, I am not a, a book smart. Yeah, I'm strict smart. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to raise my eyebrow. Tell me if my eyebrow is moving. Is it moving? <laughs> wow, um, the code guide me until who I am today. I always believe a lot of things in life. Never try, never know. So if you want to do something, you will never know the answer until you try it. So I wanted to encourage the young generations if you wanted to achieve something or you wanted to do something either business, on your dreams, on your goal you want to achieve, go and try and do it. Uh, success or not, it doesn't matter. The most important thing is you got an answer for yourself. And if I don't move to KL, today I could be still question myself, can I be a model or not? And the question not only for now, and until when I'm 80 years old, which is the day before I go on, I will still asking myself, can I be a model or not? So I think life is uh, short and it's very important for you to find out, you know, the answer and to try things you like to do in life. That will make your life even more colourful. So try it, don't keep thinking, do it now.